So <clears throat> some of you that follow Tesla, right? Because there is no other EV. You remember when the competition was coming, right? All, all these other cars, all these other companies are competitions coming, you know, because Tesla's new. You don't understand. Tesla's not a car company. And man, landing rockets and stuff. Okay, nobody's gonna do this. Is pfft. all right back to what I was trying to say. You remember how the competition was coming and everybody was jumping on the bandwagon, which is make electric cars and EVs, and everybody was getting on board. Te first of all, Tesla's past, we, we look at EVs like you look at somebody that's still smoking. It's like, what are you doing? Like, we're, we're so past that. That's like... 1970s it was cool to smoke we're, we're past that now okay we're, we're so far beyond that but anyway when all of the competition was coming they were going to LG Panasonic all these battery makers now what has happened, right? What have they told you? Oh, EV demand is down. No, you just can't make them. And your dealerships don't like servicing them because they don't service them, okay? So while all of that's now, they've all pulled back and said, no, nah, we, 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 we don't like EVs. Uh, but yeah, the demand is down, whatever. And because that has happened, now, who's gonna pick up the slack and buy these extra batteries that we're all getting ramped up for this big EV transition, this big EV revolution, this big EV change? Tesla now is able to take advantage of all of those battery companies that were ramping up. And so now, Tesla is not cell constrained and not battery constrained and they can make all these crazy options so if you make this little bit of money and you can uh, qualify for the EV tax credit then we can sell you this kind of battery car standard range or whatever or we can Make this battery pack that, but then software lock the battery as if it's small, sell you the car, then later on you can buy a software download and unload the car. You could buy a LG battery over here, or you can get our 46 80 80 bet right so in other words this is again propelled tesla into super success and allowing tesla to have more options because they're not battery cell constrained a few years ago one of the constraints was battery cells and so Tesla got into making their 4680 battery cell technology and they are doing that. But now because everybody else has backed out, says no, we don't want, we're not gonna make EVs. Tesla now has more options to do all kinds of things. There's the LFP, F, or, I don't know. I'm my brain, I'm not thinking right. LFP. So there's the lithium ion phosphate, and then there's the lithium. Anyway, the one you can uh, charge up to a hundred percent and leave it sit in your driveway, right? But then most of them are the ones where you charge to eighty percent, unless you go on a long road trip and start driving immediately. Anyway, 
I'm having a brain fart right now because I'm doing too many things at once. Proof that full self-driving is coming. But the point is, you get the point I'm making. There's all of these kinds of battery options and opportunity for Tesla to just crush it right now. So, that's also something you didn't know about, <laughs> okay? And that's also something that is happening. And you may not understand what's happening. You may not appreciate it. Okay, well, with this type of battery, we can do this, software lock it, say that the range is 240 miles, so, and then sell the hardware, the car, for a low, low price so that you can qualify for the EV tax credit, which, by the way, Tesla is telling our government, stop it. The demand for EVs is there. You don't. We don't need you wasting American taxpayers' money on this EV tech credit. But if you're going to do it, we're going to crush it, right? So then you buy the hardware, the car, at this low, low price, qualify for the EV tax credit. Then a year later, oh, hey, by the way, you know, if you want to give us whatever, let's say it's four grand, two grand, I don't know more we'll get your battery range with a software download and now all of a sudden your car gets 340 miles instead of 240 right there's more options but if you don't understand what just happened right everybody was trying to catch up to tesla the competition's coming watch out the competition so much competition there is no other car than tesla that there is no other company, right? So uh, the other one that's just going down, so Fisker just went out of business again, bankrupt again. Um, Volkswagen just invested into Rivian for five billion. There's no way. Volkswagen is so laden heavy with bureaucracy and slow down that Volkswagen can't do anything quickly the the last guy that was good the the last the previous CEO of Volkswagen I forget his name but Dietz Dietz or Dietz whatever Dietz his last name is like Dietz Nietz or what anyway that guy was saying openly and outwardly yes we need to follow tesla we need to partner with tesla let's go with tesla what did volkswagen do to that guy so tesla is non-union tesla just fired everybody right what do you do with your par parts you you eliminate too many parts and then you have to add back 10 percent of the parts if you don't do that then you haven't eliminated enough parts. So same thing with employees, fired all these, got it down to startup company size, and then says, okay, get things running smoothly. Okay, let's hire back 10% of those folks. So that's, this is lean, mean, fighting machine type operation Whereas Volkswagen, not a chance in hell. Okay, so if you don't understand this stuff, what's happening, you, you can't appreciate it. So that's what I'm telling you. But, right, all these other EVs and then backpedaling and saying, no, we're not, we're not going to do the electric car thing now there's so much battery cells available and Tesla is not battery constraint constrained uh, there's a lot of opportunity in that and Tesla is just taking advantage of the opportunity 
taking advantage of these EV tax credits that should go away. Stop wasting. I don't know if it's wasting, but yeah, I guess kind of wasting. Stop wasting American taxpayer money. Why are you spent? Well, government doesn't have money to spend unless they take it from somebody else. So stop taking people's money and then giving them an incentive that they don't need. The incentive is already there. But again, the government's trying to manipulate you to buy a non-Tesla car and a union because who, who funds uh, a certain political party? Unions. UAW, the UAW uh, donates millions of dollars, right? So you get it. You get the point. 